Hey there, YTPC. It's your boy Cosmo Cat Dad Piper. Hope you're having a great day whenever this finds you and that it finds you well. I am uh, just did another video because it's so nice today. It is a lovely, warm, but not hot. 77 degrees, nice breeze. Sitting out on the deck in the shade. Smoking buddy mats coming over a little bit. I'm going to start the weekend because it's a Friday afternoon, early evening when I'm recording this. We're going to have ourselves a couple bowls. But I'm just doing this here as a VR for a friend, Mike, over at Briar Blues. If for some reason you're watching this video and you're not subscribed to Mike already, go check him out. Great guy. Sells pipes. Sells really nice pipes. Uh, he would not sell you something he wouldn't personally endorse. And uh, great customer service. I got a, a K. Woody Prince from him last year. Was happy to do business with him. Would gladly do business with him again. But he is doing a little gaw. A very not so little maybe. Because he's doing three giveaways. Uh, for his, I believe it's 9,000 subscribers. First of all, Mike, congratulations. Well deserved, well earned, but just... For most of us guys, I'm sure 9,000 is seems like a unobtainable number. I'm just wow. I had no idea you were that high in the number count. I know it took you a little bit longer to get there to get to the other numbers that you've reached, the other milestones. But we'll be seeing you at 10,000 real soon, I'm sure. Uh, so course of God is not that simple. There is a question that he posed. Thought I'd answer that. Um, basically, I think, if I'm remembering correctly, it's, and pardon me if I'm wrong, but my answer will fit your uh, requirement. You know, what, what's part, what's a, what part of pipe smoking, I guess, would, uh, was the hardest for me to learn, or maybe the hardest for me to work on, or develop a skill wise or something like that uh, again i'm just paraphrasing it's been a few days since i watched his video announcing it um but <clears throat> didn't take me long to come up with an answer first of all for me it's not something like packing the bowl or how to properly pet let tamp or light the tobacco granted when i started several years ago and then gave up it's because i didn't know how to do that stuff but over the past couple of years i've definitely refined those skills where i'd say i'm decent at it i'm comfortable with it but the biggest thing that i've had issues learning with and still very much have issues learning with uh, although i've gotten better is with cadence meaning the speed the pace the rhythm at which I smoke my pipe, at which I enjoy my pipe. Now, I would love to say that I would be one of those session smokers who could pack a bowl with something. Excuse me, there's a fly, of course, because it's nice out. Pack a bowl, light it, and get at least an hour minimum out of it. Some guys can do, I think, probably 90 minutes or longer off of a single bowl. That is not me. I've tried working on my pacing. Like I said, it's gotten better. But a bowl for me, depending on the size of the pipe, of course, and maybe if it's a Virginia that might burn a little hotter versus another blend, you're talking 25 minutes to 45 minutes tops. That's kind of the range as far as what it takes for me to smoke a bowl. Now, it's not to say a bad thing, but I would love to just grab a pipe, one pipe, just sit out here with some coffee and puff on it for a good hour, hour 15, hour and a half. Now, I've worked on that cadence, like I said. Uh, it's not that I have a fear that if I don't smoke it, 
continuously that it will go out because I don't have an issue with relighting and it's not like there's some subconscious fear that if it does go out oh my gosh I'm not going to be able to relight it or it won't want to reignite or it'll just disintegrate the next time I light it nothing like that I'm just one that I like big flavors I like big puffs of smoke big draws I am not a sipper. I just don't do little sip, sip, sips. I'm uh, I'm not sipping tea. I'm drinking a milkshake, if that makes sense. And if you've been smoking for any amount of time, that probably does make sense. I like to suck it down, you know. If you ever seen the uh, film, oh, now that I'm going to mention it, I'm going to forget the title, which I just did. Uh, and I should probably stop this video and edit and redo, but, uh, I want to say no country for old men, but that's the wrong answer. Bonus points if you can comment below, but there's a quote towards the end of the movie I'm thinking of, where he's like, I drink your milkshake, I drink your milkshake up. That's what it's like for me. I, I like getting big retro hail. I like getting big cloud puffs. Like getting my mouth full of smoke before I exhale. I'm not one that can just sip pinkies up, take nice small draws, set it down for a second, come back to it, pinkies up again. I'd like to be, but that's not how I am. So that's me. It's not necessarily saying it's anything on my technique. And I've probably rambled on for too long. You get the idea. Basically, I need to work on my cadence. I need to focus maybe more on trying to improve that. But I just think it would make smoking sessions a little bit more pleasurable if I could get my pacing down a little bit better. So again, Mike, congratulations. Huge number. Huge achievement. And I love all you do for the YTPC. And you do a lot. So, like I said, if for some odd reason you're watching me and you're not following Mike over at Briar Blues, go check him out. By all means, give him some YTPC love. He offers a wealth of information. But I'm going to quit recording this so I can edit it and post it for you. And Smoking Buddy Matt's going to be over. And we'll have probably a couple bowls. So, hope you have a great day, great weekend. As always, thanks for watching. God bless. And we'll see you soon.